boat. So you've caught me having a break out on the cruiser deck in the sun, really enjoying this spring weather at the moment. And the canal has got a lot busier. There's holiday makers going up and down and people are taking their boats out. And there was even a canoe race along here yesterday. So uh, things are getting much busier. And uh, with this weather being so good, it's very difficult to sit here and work on your boat when I really, really want to get out and cruise about in my boat. But last week I should have put a video up, so I apologise for that, and I didn't. Uh, I had my daughter with me for two days, and uh, I couldn't really work on the boat with her with me. It was just not practical and safe. So uh, we ended up taking the boat out, mooring up just down by the wind winding hole and having a bit of a picnic and feeding the ducks in this sort of weather and it was fantastic and it's exactly the sort of thing I want to do when the boat is finished or in a more finished state. So when we last spoke uh, I answered some of your questions and uh, told you my plans for what I wanted to do for the summer but we didn't cover what the work was or where I was with the work on the boat. Now I left that because I didn't think I'd progressed far enough. But when I went back and watched my last but one video, uh, I have actually progressed quite a bit. So let's go inside and have a look at where I am. Okay, when we last spoke, I put the control panel in and uh, I've got my voltmeter working now. But And we started lining out the top half of the boat, which is all these plywood sides all the way down to there and I've actually finished and started coming down the other side that is all complete as well all the plywood sides all the way down uh, also I've started putting in the bases as well and I have boxed in the end of the control panel and put a light switch in here for the living area or saloon as, as it's known now one of my viewers Peter Crisp said I, am I really going to switch all my lights on from the control box and no I'm not that switch there is the isolator switch so when you leave the boat uh, if you're going out or uh, in my case I'll be going home um, you can just flick one switch off and all the lights will go off so that's just the isolator on that and the way I had it wired up was just purely a test circuit to make sure that all the lights were working and I hadn't knocked anything or damaged anything when I put it in now I have connected up the battery hence the voltage, and put in the switches for each of the individual rooms. So the isolator switch is on, you can see by that little red marker there, and I've got these nice little switches here, got these off eBay, they weren't too expensive, quite tasteful, quite like them. And if I turn that on, these switches should go on and off like that, and that's great. So that is gonna turn on the saloon area, and if I move down to where the kitchen will be, I've got this switch here, which is hanging out. Oh, that's got to have a packing piece put behind it. But that will operate the kitchen lights from here, you see. That goes on and off. Now, the next thing that I've done, which is quite a big deal, is I've started partitioning off for the bathroom or shower room. And again, another switch in here, which will turn on the uh, bathroom lights. That's actually wired up and working now. I've got a gas pipe coming out here, which goes into the side there. And that is going to be where the boiler is. I'm going to have a gas boiler in uh, for like a water on demand thing. So that was quite a big piece of plywood to, to cut to shape. There's a little cutout at the bottom corner there. And that's where the water pipe is going to come out. And then the kitchen area will be here. So one of the next things I've got to do is mock up the kitchen and just measure out where the sink and everything has got to go. But it does mean uh, putting skin fittings in and skin fittings in and all sorts of uh, other things so uh, that's a job for another day we're not going to tackle that today but yes we've got one gas pipe coming out plenty of length there ready for uh, the gas boiler and this is all brand new gas pipe it disappears and then runs down the boat so if I nip round the corner to where the bathroom area will be this is a board that I'm just uh, cutting to size now to, to fit in there but behind that we're going to drill a couple of holes to let the wiring through and the um, outlet the sink outlet and the shower pump outlet uh, and uh, there's a cavity. I've put some spacing in here and the wiring for the light switch goes down there, which if we look works, that's great. Uh, and then there'll be another sheet of plywood in there to box all that in. And that's uh, nice and solid and rigid and that'll disguise the wiring, uh, which all runs down the back here. Still got a bit more insulation to do and I haven't secure, finished securing the gas pipe, which runs all the way down there. 
and we've got to redo that uh, fit in there because that plastic fitting that's in there is no good. And there's the wiring for the shower pump. Now, I am going to have a shower and the shower is going to go there. Now, this shower base, I got it from my local tip. Now, my local tip has like a shop where anything that's tipped that's any good or reusable is sold. And this is a brand new shower base, still in its plastic wrapping. And I bought that for five pounds. So that's a bargain. It's an 800 by 800 corner shower unit. And the water outlet there, that will go under the floor. And I'm gonna have the pump under the floor and we'll cover fitting that another day. Now, I've, all the off cut wood has been piled down here and there's not a lot of space. But if I just peer around the corner to where the bedroom area will be, you'll see that that's just a, a storage area for the time being and it's a mess and whatever. But uh, we'll do that later on. Now, if I head back down, I haven't done the bottom half of the other side yet and there's another gas pipe to run down there. Now, if I just go to the back of the boat and turn around again. So the kitchen area will be there and the other half of the kitchen area will be there. This is the saloon area. Now my bench has this piece of plywood sticking out and that is actually uh, a pattern. This, this bench is representing one of the kitchen units just to make sure that I can walk around the corner and get around and fit in okay. So that's uh, doing quite a good job of measuring and uh, acting as a pattern. And I need to build another one just to mock up this side so I can do some more measuring up. But I've managed to get rid of quite a bit of rubbish and uh, debris and mess. I've still got a lot more to get rid of. There was a big pile of rubbish here, which I've most of the way through now. Uh, and um, that's what we uh, need to do next really is mock up the kitchen unit, plug the gas in, get the cooker in, and more importantly, I need to get a sink in. Now I have bought a water pump. Now I don't know if you can see that because that's right down in the bedroom area. And there are, there are water pipes. So uh, all these great pipes here, that's the water. They just need feeding behind these partitions once they're secured. And all the isolators and valves are actually there. These, this is just piled out the way at the minute. And then somewhere down there is my water pump, which is just behind that piece of wood. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. But that will feed out from the water tank, which is in the front. We'll cover that in a bit more detail as and when I commission the water pump. And then it will pump it all the way down the side into the bathroom area where there'll be an isolator and outlet in here and then all the way into the kitchen and there'll be the kitchen one here and a drain and everything else. Now it's worth mentioning that when you move your um, the configuration of your boat about from what it used to be, not so much with new boats but definitely with older boats, there are fittings and all sorts of things that are left from the previous fit out and they need to be dealt with. Now I watch um, lots and lots of different YouTube videos about uh, boat safety and things like that and uh, little things like an old sink outlet like that if you leave that and just box over it uh, it's a potential to uh, let water in and sink because it's quite close to the water line so that's all been blanked off uh, I had to buy a blank and run the threads out and I ended up having to buy an inch and a quarter tap off eBay to run the threads out so I could get these blanks in so if I can turn around that's pretty much where we are with the build of the boat. Now, the next thing to do is obviously get cracking on the kitchen area and get a working sink in and get the bathroom area done. I'm having a chemical toilet, so I should be able to get a toilet on the go reasonably easily. Uh, and then, you know, if I have to just put a courtesy curtain across it in the short term, I need to build a sliding door and all sorts. There's lots and lots to do. And we'll secure these sides on. Now, I have been watching Narrowboat Helen videos, a uh, chap up uh, north somewhere called Phil. He's uh, now sold his boat, unfortunately, but he had some quite good tips for fitting his boat out. And one of the top tips was he put his sides on, or the lower half of his sides on, with Velcro. And I thought, you know what, that's actually quite a good idea. So I'm going to give that a go as well. So I'll let you know how that goes on. In the meantime, I will just crack on with what I'm doing. That's the first GRP boat I've seen this year. 
so that's it for another episode. Sorry it's so short, but it was just a bit of a catch up for you. Let you know how I'm doing and where I am and I haven't forgotten about you. Keep your comments coming, particularly uh, the encouragement uh, as well. That helps, it really does help. So uh, in the next video, I plan to have a work video of me actually doing a bit rather than showing you what I have been doing. Uh, and I'm aware that now the weather's getting better and the days are getting longer particularly we need to move the work outside of the boat as well as inside so if the weather's nice we're going to be doing a bit more work outside the boat uh, but if it's horrible and rainy we'll be back inside carrying on with what I've started already now I need to contract in some extra help so we'll be featuring that as well but in the meantime take care and I'll see you soon